What is up guys? Welcome to the Pottery Studio. Today we're going to talk about these chalices. So I have an order from a church for a communion set. So basically they want four chalices that have a little separator in there. So one's non-alcoholic and one's alcoholic wine. So they came to me and said they want a whole new set. They want them purple. Uh, so I'm working with them right now to figure out what purple. Basically I threw these just kind of as a tester. So we're going to hop on and show you. Basically we just throw them in two pieces. One is the bowl part and one is the stem part. Uh, so we have our clay all ready right here. I'm starting with three quarters of a pound of clay, a little bit more than three quarters of a pound, just like a little bit more for the bowl. And then a little less than three quarters of a pound for the stem. Top part, the bowl part, you're just throwing a normal bowl. There's the top bowl. They wanted it a little shallower uh, than they had an example of what they had before. And so then now we're gonna throw the stem, which this is a little bit more of a unique shape. So first step, obviously get it centered. And then with the stem, instead of when you go down to create the hole in the middle, you can go all the way down to the bat. You don't have to leave any clay at the bottom like you would with a bowl or a cup or anything like that. All right, and then we wanna keep, we wanna keep the bottom pretty skinny, right? And then as we pull up, then the top can get a little wider. So that'll be the bottom. So we're throwing it upside down, right? So the bottom part will be the part that gets attached to the bowl part. There we go, easy peasy. Then we just let this dry. And the nice part about this is that this part will dry quicker on top, but this part will stay wet on the bottom. So that's the part that we have to attach to the bowl. So works out nicely. Okay, so because I just ran a kiln in here last night and it was super hot, these dried really quickly. So it was only been like maybe an hour, hour and a half and I flipped them over, but drying times vary depending on what your studio space is like, where you are located. So anyway, I'm gonna let these set up a little bit more. We got them all flipped over, but basically then I'll just score around here and try and get this centered right like that and then I'll let it dry even more and then I'll come back and trim it so it looks like it's like one piece but right now everything is still a little too wet to work with so we'll let it dry out a little more and then we'll come back and finish so now we're just going to attach the stem piece to the top bowl piece so first thing I'm going to do is just center center that bowl and it is pretty wet so I mean you may not need to slip and score it but I'm just gonna score that a little bit. Score that. Then I am just gonna take a little bit of slip, run that right along there. And then I just wanna get, make sure that this is in the center or dang near close anyway. So I'm just gonna take a little long rod, stick that in there and kind of blend blend those two. So that should be good for that. And then I'd say I might as well just trim it right now. But since I can't really put my finger in the middle and hold it down, then I got to use clay for this one. And then I'll just trim that bowl. So it's a nice chalice shape. So the last thing that we need to do for this particular project was they want they want a piece in here that separates it so you can have non-alcoholic wine and alcoholic wine. 
So I'm gonna make a slab and then cut out a piece to put in there. actually probably the hardest part of the whole project right here so basically I just kept cutting it down until I had the right size and then I'm just kind of using my pinch pinching method to spread it out to get it to really be all the way across I'm gonna just use a little bit of a little coil to just throw in there. Oh, chest. We got five of them made. So since they're in no rush, I'm gonna let them dry slowly. But there you go. I'm not sure why else you would need to make a chalice besides a communion set for a church. But hey, if you wanna make a chalice, now you know how. All right, thanks for watching guys. See you guys in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.